Introducing the ESA615 Automated Electrical Safety Analyzer from Fluke Biomedical. This electrical safety analyzer includes a newly designed, very ergonomic carrying handle, as well as easy to use tilt stand. On this side of the device, we see the mains power connection. Power cords are available and shipped based on your geographic location in the world and the power on off switch. Moving up a little higher on the unit, we see the SD card for expanded memory storage of both test results and test sequences. The card pops out very easily and can connect to this SD reader connected to your computer for transferring files. Rotating around to the front, we see the connections for your test probes and the null pin for zeroing our test leads. Moving across the front, we see the navigation array and the test button for running our higher voltage tests. Rotating around a little bit more, we see our equipment outlet for connecting the device under test. The outlet that you see here is for the United States. There are other outlets depending on your geographic location in the world. Moving up higher on this side of the device, we see the USB ports and there are two of them. The mini USB port is for connecting the ESA615 to your computer, for instance running the ANSWER test automation software or the ANSWER mini plugin for the ESA615. The larger of the two USB ports is for connecting keyboards, U, uh, bar, barcode scanners, and the like. Across the top, we see the applied part posts for connecting things like ECG leads and other applied parts that connect to the patient. To make it easy to connect ECG lead wires for pinch or snap leads, we have the banana to ECG snap connection, which plugs directly into the top of the device very easily. And there we have it. Now we're ready to introduce the controls. Let's do a quick overview of the functions and features of the ESA615 automated electrical safety analyzer. To begin with, the unit defaults to the last auto sequence that I have just completed. So we would otherwise select the auto sequence button to get to the display you see on screen right now. If this test sequence is not the one that I want to run, I can easily select one from the test library, F3. And then I can use the navigation arrows and the enter button to select the test sequence that I wish to run. If I want to see the details about this test sequence before I run it, just to be sure that all of the control parameters for the test sequence are as I expect them to be, I will press the F2 button and now I can use the navigation arrows to scroll down through each of the test steps in the test sequence to make sure that they are set properly for what I need to do. The view applied part button allows me to set up my applied part modules, that is which groups of patient applied connections should be tested together and in what particular way. If I choose to run the test sequence that I have selected, I will pick the F1 button next. And that allows me to enter the device under test information, including the location, whether it be on a particular part of the hospital or in another building on campus or across town. And once I have done that, then I would press the start button to actually run the test sequence. We'll leave that for now. 
the job orders button F4 is for future use. Well, what if I want to review the test results from tests that I have run during the day today or during this last week or however long? I will pick the test results button and it will list all of the test results that have been stored in onboard memory on ESA 615. The F1 button allows me to sort them uh, in alphabetical order. The F2 button allows me to delete the test result that I have identified. Or F3 allows me to delete all. And that assumes that I have um, archived those test results to some other, uh, some, some other device, like my computer, um, or, uh, or I have printed out my test results. The ESA 615 can also be operated manually. And when I do that, it's important that I take care to ensure that there are a couple of settings that are properly made. I will press the Setup button. And this allows me to select the operator or person who is going to be doing the testing. I can select myself or any others in the list, and I can have as many people in the list as I need. The other setting here that is really important um, to make sure that I select is the standard. And to get there, I just arrow down to the standard and press Enter. And I can select from a list of uh, US and international standards that will form the foundation of the tests that, uh, that I'm going to do. The rest of the controls on ESA 615 should look very familiar to you, as they are the same as those buttons you will find on ESA 612 and ESA 620. So there you have it. The ESA 615 Automated Electrical Safety Analyzer from Fluke Biomedical.